Sup everyone, I'm your female Taku, and I'm here to review episode 2 of season 2, Blue Exorcist. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe this is the first time that we had a dialogue heavy episode of Blue Exorcist that also moved the story along. Because remember, I am an anime only, so you know I've only seen season one and I have not read the manga. But if I'm correct, I believe we've never had an episode like this. Like we have, we've had had uh, dialogue heavy episodes, but they were like filler episodes back over in, you know, season one. And then all the other episodes had some sort of either action or them learning magic or them learning, you know, new spells and, you know, teamwork and stuff like that. I could be wrong because it has been a long time since I've seen season one, but if I'm correct, I really liked this episode, the fact that it was because it was so different from what we've seen thus far, anime-wise. In this episode, the gang arrives over in Kyoto and they're staying over at the Suguro Inn. And we learn more about Suguro's father and as soon as I saw who his father was, I was like, wait, you have a big scene in the opening. Like there's a scene in the opening where he smiles and then he turns around. So I'm and I'm just all like, okay, wait, what what does this mean? Is this supposed to symbolize how, oh man, this dude, he really is a, the degenerate uh, priest and he runs away all the time. You never know when he's gonna be back. Or is it supposed to symbolize that he's evil? Like why does he run away? How come he's not a part of the order to become an exorcist? Could he be perhaps making deals with demons? I don't freaking know. But there's something going on with the man, and he's gonna be really important down the road, no doubt. Especially if he's given that much focus in the opening, like come on. One scene that I really liked in this episode, in fact, it's probably my favorite scene, was uh, with the pink haired dude, I don't remember his name, apologies. The pink haired dude and Rin, they are like talking and like the pink haired dude, he wanted to leave. He didn't want to be with Rin because you know of him being the son of Satan and you know, everyone else tried to leave and so did the pink haired dude, but he ended up getting caught up and he was trying to avoid him, but ended up realizing that it's such a hassle to try and avoid someone and he should just laugh it off and just move on. I act like things are normal because in the end, they are. Sure, one thing was revealed, but Rin is still Rin. And it was just awesome just seeing them act like bros again, instead of just being scared or, you know, very touchy around the subject. It was nice. And it's all because Rin had sake. <laughs> that was great. We learned that the Mito sect has the impure king's right eye. And at the end of the episode, we see that someone else has the left eye and it's still like attached like within them. So, okay, we better watch out for that. This episode, I really did enjoy it because it was a dialogue heavy episode that moved the story along and it's unique to Blue Exorcist. Even if this did happen in season one and I'm just forgetting it, it sure didn't happen often. Let me know your thoughts on Sugudo's father. What do you think is up with him? And once again, manga readers, let me know what you thought of the adaptation of this episode. And as for my thoughts on the ending theme, I actually really enjoyed the ending, both ending themes from the first season. This ending theme, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I, I really don't like it. Not even the visuals, I don't even like the visuals. So I'm pretty disappointed in that because uh, you know I still actually really like this the new opening, even though it's not as good as the previous two, but this ending I actually just plain just just don't like it. But but it's whatever, you know, that's not too important. Catch me later as I review Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju Sukuroku Anu. I'm your female Taku, Sayonara. Yeah.